Hello, it's me, Emmy Lou. I'm an artist and um, I'm going to show you today how to do a kingfisher because they're awesome birds, for one. And two, um, I think it'll be quite nice because we've done the flamingo, so now it's like another kind of, of the animal species that's more bird-like. So first of all, just need a pencil and a piece of paper. And we're going to do it portrait and we're going to start off with a shape that's a little bit like um, kind of a rainbow but not so like this so a shape that's a little bit like I would say a rainbow pretty much isn't it it's like a rainbow and then once you've done that you're just going to touch this side and you're going to go all the way almost down to like that part of the paper so it looks strange but that is a good thing and then we're gonna go we're just gonna do a pointy bit just like that and then we're gonna go Wee. so when you go Wee, you want to make sure that gap there is quite large if you're finding this difficult don't worry because after we've done this everything will fall into place Trust me, because I'm a doctor. Not that I am a doctor, just joking. In case you're considering that I am a doctor. Okay, anyway, moving on. So we're gonna touch that bit there, and then we're just gonna join it up. We're gonna join it up like this. So as soon as you've joined it up, we're gonna just do where we've done that bit there, that triangly bit, we're just gonna go wee. So it's kind of like the wing. So that's the face, this is the wing. Then what you could do is just under this bit, we could do like another bit that just goes like that. Just another bit there. And then you want to do like the tummy. So you're just going to touch that bit there and you're just going to go. It's quite a chunky bird, this one. And then we're going to just do a beak. Now, the beak's going to start from here. So we're just going to touch that there and we're just going to go down, down, down. It's quite a long beak, the kingfisher. Looks really strange when I look at it now on the piece of paper, but it's a kingfisher. Just in case you've tuned in and you're like, "What is it?" <laughs> and it's and it's the beak. So we're just gonna go back. So it's like a triangle or an ice cream cone. I like to think of it as. And then we're just gonna go join that up just there. Just join it up, join it up. And the beak's gonna be like this. We're gonna have touch that bit there. And you're just going to do like a triangle, but not because it's going to go like this. Whoa. So it's like a weird triangle, basically. You're going to do and then and then join it up. So if, if you don't know what I've just done there, I've gone from there and gone to across and then and joined it up. Then we can just make the beak more like a beak with the line. Then you want to do a really cool eye, but we want to do another line. So we're just going to touch that bit there again, and we're just going to go across. My beautiful felt tip that's running out. Oh, sad. And then we're going to do an eye. Now, any eye you like. But we're going to just do an eye like that. It'd be cool. And then we're just going to do two lines here, because they have different patterns on them. Like they've got, um, you know, different lines and various other things on them. And you could just do like a, a beaky bit there. If you're not sure what I just did there, it was just a line and then I was just trying to emulate, which means trying to make it look like um, a wing. That's what I was trying to do, in case you're wondering. And then you could do some shapes like that for a wing. So if you don't know what I mean, it's like a, like that because that makes it look more like a wing when we're colouring it in. So we could do that, you don't have to do that, but you can do that. Then we want to do like a really cool, hang on, I just realise I'm showing half of my cupboard there, which doesn't really matter, but it's just a kitchen cupboard. It's not the best thing to, to stare at really, is it? Okay, so then we're gonna do um, the, the, blah, 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 the legs. So just where you've got your tummy bit, you're just going to go, wee, just some claws. A bit like 
bananas. I don't know why, they just remind me of bananas. And then because it's sitting on a branch, you want to like draw the branch. So you're going to just draw the branch after you've drawn the legs because it's on the branch. So like that. And then the other side of the branch is the top of where you've drawn your, 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 your feet. Then we could make this a bit longer as well, by the way. Could have another triangle if we like, because they're quite long there. But... And then we want to do, you could just do a little twig. So they sort of start quite chunky there, and then you could do like a little leaf. So like a rainbow. And then another upside down rainbow. Just do like a leaf coming from the tree, if you like, you don't have to. Um, another one, a oh, baby leaf, just to keep it company. Right, that's pretty much the, um, I only said cockatoo, that's pretty much the, um, <laughs> kind, uh, the kingfisher. I'm just going to do some little feathers, because it's kind of got little baby feathers there, so you can put those on there if you like. And it's got a nostril, little nostril. So I'm using my chalk pastels. I want to do the lightest colour first. So it's got an orange, an orange um, man. Just forgot to just do a line there if we can. It's got an orange body just here. So we're just going to do a little bit of orange. And he's got a little bit of orange. Just let's draw another line. Just realise I need another one because that's where it's orange. So let's just do an orange bit there. Then we're just going to smudge them, smudge the orange. Now they're beautiful colours, so we could do like a greeny, bluey, turquoisey. So we go, I'm going to do some light blue on the top. So a bit of light blue on the top. Hmm, a bit of light blue. Then I think I'm going to do like. I think I'm going to do like a dark, a turquoisey blue at the top and then I'm just going to do the same that I did for the top of the head, that colour, but then I'm going to get another green and I'm going to kind of colour around the shape. So I'm colouring that feather and around the shape and I'm going to colour around this bit of head. So just to make it stand out. Then I'm going to get a really cool blue, like a nice dark blue. And I'm just going to go round this bit. And just go round the feathery bits. And then I'm going to colour this little bit in there blue. Now some of these um, faces are a bit blue as well. I'm just trying to see what it, what it looks like. So I would probably do something like that. Because he's got a little bit of light bits there so that's fine and then we're going to take a brown take the brown and you're going to do the beaks brown i think all of this is pretty brown bit of brown there well do that okay now now it's time to smudge otherwise you won't be able to see what anything is. That orange that I've done there is cool, but we kind of wouldn't mind a ready orange. So, taking my one finger and I'm just smudging. I'm carefully smudging because I want to keep the colours that I've done. So, just like that. Be really careful to smudge the orange because it's so light that colour. Then I'm going to get a red because I need it to look more dark. And I'm going to do some red here and outline the orange. And some red up there and I'm going to do the feet red just because I can and then we're just going to do draw over with your finger smudge a little bit in Woo! now you can't really see it with mine because it's it's white with the black thing but you want to outline it if you can with some black so I'm going to do it now just want to outline only the face so the beak and around this bit and remember to do the eye and here and then you're just going to go out like that with black 
a little bit quick, but you've got the black and you're going to go choo, 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 just a little bit. Then you get your one finger, your one little finger. I think it's quite dark, isn't it? Can't quite see my face, which I guess you don't really need to. Um, you're just going to go round. Kind of forgot one tiny thing with the black, guys. Just there. Right, once you've done that, there is your beautiful kingfisher. You could get the black and outline a few bits, but just be extra super careful because it's easy to get a little bit out of hand. So there's your kingfisher, and you're going to do... Um, kingfishers have quite long tails, really. So we're going to get brown. You could get, like, brown and green. So let's just get green up here. The green bit of brown so it could be like a young plant so it tends to be more green than they trees not so just small and long and then a little bit blue and you can have a blue background if you wanted to um for the for the sky or could be above a lake there you go so there's your kingfisher i'm going to call him george just because it's a nice name or Simon, or Mr. King, whatever you decide to call it. I'm just thinking we could outline the little little claws as well. And get a red and outline that if you want. So you can fiddle around with it really. You don't need you don't need me for what. And um, because you can sit there and you can sort of add things to it after you've watched this video. Um, it'd be nice if you could subscribe the button below because then I can get more followers and I can do more and I can show you a lot more. I'm going to get dark green, just decided it looks quite cool, and just do that. There you go, kind of cool. Okay, so there's your kingfisher. As I say, like the, uh, you don't have to like the video, you can just subscribe down below one of the buttons. And uh, hmm, I think the next one I might be drawing is be quite fun to sort of go on to maybe George O'Keefe. She's an, a woman artist, or she was a woman artist who drew natural forms. So maybe we could draw something really cool, like we could draw the inside of a lemon. Or we could draw something like a, a natural flower. I'll think about it, but you'll see me next week. Thanks for tuning in and subscribe and I shall see you soon. Bye from Vienna.